Generative video and AI animation has come a long way since it was first launched. With tools like Runway ML's Gen 2, we could do some amazing things in terms of generative video and also image to video. But with the launch of Pika, a tool that can convert any image into an animation just by it writing a simple prompt and also having the features of converting a text prompt into video, we can do some amazing things. I recently created a short film, A Girl in Tokyo. If you want to watch the short film, it is 1 minute 15 seconds long. The link to that short film is in the description. I created the whole short film in Pika by converting Leonardo AI's images into animation using Pika's image to video feature. First, I went to chat GPT and told it to write a 1 minute story surrounding a girl living in Tokyo who has big dreams. It came up with the story but the story was too long so I told it to shorten the story and this was the final result. I copied all this and went to 11 labs. 11 labs gives you 10,000 words per month. So just paste the script right here and then you can choose out of a lot of voices. So if you want a female voice you can choose from there. If you want a different voice go to voice library and there are multiple different voices that you can choose from. And once you've chosen the voice, just click on add to voice library. You can choose three voices to add to voice library. And then go back to speech synthesis, choose the voice that you selected and then click on generate. Once your voice is generated, just click on download. In the vibrant labyrinth of Tokyo. Now the next step is to generate some images for our short film in leonardo.ai. We get some decent looking images even using the normal version. It doesn't matter if you do not have alchemy. Now let's get back to community feed. And if you do not have alchemy and are not able to generate some decent looking images, then what you can do is come right here and remix some of the prompts that are there in the community feed in order to get some desired results. So let's remix this image. and. Without using alchemy, let's try generating images using this. As you can see, just by using an image from the community feed, we generated these images right here. And then by giving your character a name, you can generate some consistent characters for your story. Now let's check out some other images that I've generated. So these are all the images. Let's go to upscale. These are all the images. Now I have upscaled all the images and then downloaded all these images. Now the next step is to take these images into Pika to generate animation. To access Pika, write Pika Labs in Google and then click the first link. Now just click on join beta and you can join their discord server. It actually works like mid journey in the discord server itself. So once the discord server opens, this is what the interface will look like. Now you need to join any one channel. So generate one, generate two, generate three. Let's generate and generate one. Now right here, as you know, we use mid journey, we write slash right here. You need to also write slash and then slash create and then click on this plus one more option and then click on image. Double click on this drag and drop or click to upload file. And then you can upload any image right here to animate the image. So we have uploaded this image. Now whatever you want in the image you can write in the prompt. For example, I want the sky to move fast and the people to be looking upwards only. So I want a time lapse. So I will write a prompt. This is the prompt. The sky moving fast. Time lapse of people working in the farm. Now this is something that I have written in order to give the camera some movement. So GS15 motion 2. You can also change the number from 2 to 4. So if you write the number 4, there will be some more motion in the footage. Now let's click on enter. It will take a couple of seconds or minutes to generate. In the meantime, we can click on this button to regenerate the same prompt multiple times so that we can choose the best option out of the four options. So I want to generate four options. So I'm going to regenerate it four times. 
one result is finally generated so this is the result as you can see this is the type of accuracy you can expect in your animations this is the other animation that is generated now if you want to give the camera some movement suppose you want the camera to pan in you can add words like panning in panning out or panning sideways moving sideways or object moving away from the camera so these are the type of words you can use in order to give your camera some movement and this is another animation so if you want any one character to move in the camera you can write something like the person standing in the middle moving away from the camera towards the fields and these kind of words to download the animation just click on this download button and then you are good to go now i'll show you one more example so let's type in slash create and click on plus one more click on image double click and upload an image so if you watch the short film or the short animation video that i created the girl in tokyo this short is something that i really liked and enjoyed creating so this is the prompt the theater screen is flickering projection the screen is the scene in the screen is changing cityscape is moving fast camera panning inwards and then slash gs15 slash motion 2 and click on enter and then click on regenerate in order to generate multiple results so three are sufficient the results are finally generated let's check it out so this is one result this is okay not so good this is the second one So in this footage the camera is moving backwards not moving inwards but this is also looking pretty good the camera in the screen is moving inwards so this is something that you need to write in the prompt in a correct way so these are the type of things you can do using pika and then the next step is to take all the animated images into any editing software preferably premiere pro or capcut pro and then place them one after the other this was it for the video if you like the video then subscribe to the channel and i'll be back with some more ai related content in my next video